I grew up in the island of Puerto Rico. I was born uh, in a middle-class family. My father was a civil engineer. My mother was a laboratory technician and medical researcher. And I grew up in a household where education and culture were the most important values. I was fascinated by art from an early age. And then when I was in high school, I took drawing and painting lessons. So I was exposed to the making of art. And then when I went to the University of Puerto Rico in my first semester, I took an art history course that covered everything from Mesopotamia to the modern period. I was fascinated by the fact that everything that humans have been able to do through time, whether it's history, politics, economics, anthropology, linguistics, you could learn about all of that through art, through images. And so I started as an undergraduate at the University of Puerto Rico and then eventually went to do my master's at the University of Chicago and my PhD at the University of Chicago. I happen to be the first curator of Latin American art ever appointed to a U.S. museum way back in 1988 when I went to the University of Texas at Austin to work at what is now the Blanton Museum. I have trained probably eight to 10 of the key people, curators right now in major positions, whether at MoMA or Tate Modern and the Perez Art Museum. In 2001, I was invited to join the staff of the Museum of Fine Arts Houston by the then director, the late Dr. Peter Marcio. Dr. Marcio was a visionary who was very much aware of the demographic changes that were taking place in the city of Houston, as well as Texas and you know, the nation as a whole. He felt that the museum really needed to take a stance in that area. And he invited me to establish a department of Latin American art, a curatorial department. First of all, there was no one in the United States who taught Latin American art history. And I came with the idea also of doing a research center, which turned out to be the ICAA, the International Center for the Arts of the Americas. Uh, the rest is history. We have been working in this area now for 22 years. I started when uh, nobody was interested in Latin American art. There were just a handful of us that decided to engage in, in the study of Latin American art. And I have seen the field grow from nothing, you know, to what it is today, which is a really hot commodity. Latin American art has a very thriving and dynamic market. When I started 40 years ago, that was not the case. What makes our project so, so different from other projects is that it's a research-based project. We would not have been able to really build a collection of over 900 works and do the exhibitions that we have done and sustain the ICAA all these years if we had not had the active support of the community. And Latino art is part of Latin America too. It is American, but it's also Latin American. It is not rocket science. Art is a language. And as long as you learn the elements of, of that language, the words and the syntaxes of that language, you can learn anything about art and you can really enjoy and appreciate it. Thank you.